Word diagrams help us understand more about morphology. The study of the constructions of words out of small units called morphemes. By doing word diagrams, we can see how words can break into small units and exactly what these small units are doing in terms of affecting the parts of the speech of the word to which they attach. So let's look at number one. I have 10 words that we're practicing right now. I'm going to guide you through step by step how to do a word diagram of incomprehensibility. Step one is to separate it into four parts. We have in, comprehend, S-I-V-E, then ability, B-I-L-I-T-Y, right? So we have those four parts. The next step is to identify the root. So comprehend is the root of the word, so I draw a line directly above that, and above that I put verb. From there, I begin building the word. So I go from comprehend to comprehensive. I've definitely used that word before, so I'm going to say that as an adjective. What if I said, do you, do you take comprehensive exams in your uh, courses? And then from comprehensive, I go to incomprehensive, which is also an adjective. Now, I could have gone just as easily. I could have gone from comprehensive to comprehensibility, and that would have changed it to a noun, but I decided to go the other way. So just remember there's flexibility in how you do your word diagrams. So what have I shown here through this example? So I'm looking at this word. Uh, in terms of its component morphemes, and I'm showing how these different morphemes are affecting the word derivationally. For example, we start with the root, comprehend, which is a verb. Then we go from comprehend to comprehensive, which is an adjective. We go from comprehensive to incomprehensive, which is also an adjective. And then we finally conclude with the entire word, incomprehensibility, which is a noun. So the word starts verb, adjective, adjective, noun. Now what you can do is, is go ahead and take a minute. See if you can do these. I will show you the answers at the end of the video. So here are some other words that you can practice. Uncharacteristically, uncopyrightable, deregulated, unbelievable, commitments, inconsequential, interdisciplinary, xenotransplantation, and deregulated. Answers two through 10. Uncharacteristically, so let's take a look at this one. So we have four different parts of the word. We have character, noun, characteristic adjective, uncharacteristic adjective, and uncharacteristically is an adverb. Number three, uncopyrightable. Again, we have four parts. We have copy, which is a verb. Copyright is a noun. Copyrightable is an adjective. Uncopyrightable is an adjective. Deregulated. Regulate is a verb. Regulated is also a verb and deregulated is a verb. Five, unbelievable. Believe is a verb. Believable is an adjective. Unbelievable is an adjective. And remember, these are possible answers. Six, commitments. Commit, verb, commitment, noun, commitments is also noun. It's just the plural form. Number seven, inconsequential. So consequence is the root, that's a noun. Consequential is an adjective. Inconsequential is also an adjective. Dehumidifier, humid adjective, humidify verb, 
dehumidify also a verb. Dehumidifier is a noun. Xenotransplantation. Plant is a verb. Transplant is a verb. Transplantation is a noun. Xenotransplantation is a noun. Deregulated. Regulate verb, deregulate verb, deregulated verb. And as I said before, these are possible answers. Sometimes you can go, there's another way to look at these, these words as we diagram them. 